Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is all about summer essentials for the elegant woman. Seeing as summer is pretty much here, I just thought, okay, let's do a video on it. I thought I would talk about clothes as well as accessories. This is just a selection of my summer essentials that I think are amazing to have and wear in summer. If you like my content, please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be incredibly grateful. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so let's start straight away with essential number one, which is a white linen shirt. Linen is a wonderful material to wear in summer because it is very breathable, which is amazing because when it's hot, you just want the air being able to flow and not be trapped under your clothes. And secondly, it dries really fast, which again, if you sweat a lot, is amazing because linen then just dries very, very quickly. Especially lighter colored linen just screams summer to me. I think a lot of us tend to gravitate to lighter colors in summer and darker colors in winter, but you can of course do whatever you want. You don't have to, but for me, lighter colored linen is just very summery. One thing to note about linen is that it wrinkles pretty quickly and easily, but to be honest, for me, it almost adds to the charm of that material. In German, you actually say Leinen knittert edel, which means basically linen wrinkles elegantly. So there you go. We even have a saying in German that determines that wrinkled linen is elegant. I think having like a white linen shirt in your wardrobe is amazing because white is just a very stable color. You can wear it with basically everything. And there are so many possibilities how to wear a shirt. Like I'm sure you know a lot of them, like tuck it into your trousers, skirt, shorts, whatever, or tie it. Or you can wear it as a cover up at the beach if you go a bit more oversized. So many, many different ways to wear a white linen shirt. So this really, I think, is a huge essential in summer. Similar to a white linen shirt, essential number two is actually a light or white pair of trousers. Again, color-wise, scream summer to me, lighter colors. And having a staple pair of trousers is again, a really good basic to have in your wardrobe. You can wear it with almost everything. One thing to keep in mind though about the trousers is go for a thick-ish material. It doesn't have to be really, really thick, but just white trousers tend to be quite see-through. So <laughs> if you don't want your underwear to be on show, try to go for a material that's a bit thicker and also just wear the right underwear. Speaking of underwear, Essential number three is a nice pair of nude seamless underwear. In summer, again, a lot of people tend to gravitate to lighter colors and therefore it is very essential to have a nude pair of underwear. And I added seamless on top because you really don't want to have bra or panty lines on your clothes. It doesn't really look good. So having seamless underwear is really, really the key. I know it's not the sexiest clothing item, but it does serve a purpose. So yeah, just have two, three sets and you're good to go. And you don't have to worry about anything being on show. Well, now that we've got our underwear down, let's talk about these cooler summer nights or these cloudy overcast summer days where you just want to have a little bit of extra warmth. Well, a lightweight blazer is definitely gonna solve your problem. I kind of associated blazers with the colder months, but to be honest, they are an all year round piece. You can go, for example, for a linen, a cotton or like a wool silk linen blazer so you don't have to go for a thick woolen blazer you can just go for these summery materials that way also you kind of incorporate these textures and it's a bit more cohesive with the rest of your clothes and also it's a bit more lightweight and it's not as warming which is nice because Hopefully summer is gonna be quite warm and hot. For that effortlessly elegant look, you could choose your blazer actually a bit oversized, pair it with a white linen shirt and a nude pair of shorts and you're basically good to go. 
If you want to create a day to night look, then essential number five could be a potential contestant for that. I'm talking about silk blouses slash tops. Silk oftentimes is overlooked in summer. I don't quite know why, but cotton and linen most of the time are the most used materials. But silk is a very, very nice alternative to just change up your wardrobe a little bit. With its elegant shine and smooth texture, it is actually the perfect material for these slightly smarter summery occasions. For example, let's say you have a dinner at your holiday destination or something like that. During the day you could potentially go for something sleeveless, during the night maybe to cover you up a little bit more you could go for a long sleeve blouse, but that's really up to you what you prefer to wear. Silk is actually a bit more delicate than cotton and linen, but depending on what you're doing that might not even be of note so if you're not like going hiking or climbing trees I think a silk top should be fine and if you want to make it look a bit more casual because you're like ah oh, no it's too shiny it's a bit too much for me on an everyday basis you could for example go for a silk crepe material because of the way it has been woven the crepe material is a lot more matte than normal silk fabric and that way it just looks that tiny little bit more casual and might be easier to incorporate in your everyday life. Essential number six, a shirt dress. I believe I have developed kind of an obsession with shirt dresses. I really, really love them. But to be honest, it's a shirt and a dress, which are both perfect clothing items put into one. I mean, what is that to expect? I mean, I have to love it. It's just perfection. But yeah, I, I'm, I really, really like them. I think they're so flattering and they look really elegant because of the shirt element that the dress has to it. One thing I always do is I always try to cinch in the waist. I think it just looks a lot more feminine and nicer personally. You can of course do whatever you want, but I think it just gives you that hourglass shape, which I really, really like for myself. I prefer them made from cotton, but linen can also be very nice as a shirt dress. It is a bit more casual. Linen also tends to widen a bit when wearing it, so it's gonna be a bit more baggy, but however you prefer it. I really, I really like my cotton shirt dresses, to be honest. Essential number seven is a neutral pair of shorts. As with the white linen shirt and with the light white pair of trousers, a neutral pair of shorts is really a no-brainer when it comes to combining with other clothing items. So it's really, for me, an essential. I think shorts are so nice because they, for one, show off your beautiful legs, so that's a bonus, but also, you are really secure. So if you are gonna go on an adventure or for a hike, they are really comfortable to wear while still keeping you cool. And you don't have to worry about like someone sneaking a peek under your skirt or something. So they're not only really chic, but also really practical. Lengthwise, you can go as short as you like. I personally don't like to have my butt cheeks hanging out, personal preference. So I usually go for a pair of shorts that's a bit longer, but really up to you how you feel the most comfortable and your best self. Just a quick style inspiration, I think having like a matching pair of shorts and blazer could be really really cute and I think it's again something that is really easy to just throw on, go out of the house and feel comfortable in. All right so let's talk about shoes. So I nailed it down to my top two summer shoe essentials. Number one is a pair of loafer. I think loafers are an incredibly elegant pair of shoes and they are really versatile. So they are perfect for these days where you don't want to wear a pair of sandals because it's a bit too cold, but it's too warm for your normal shoes. They can be worn for so many occasions. You can go for a stroll in the city. You can go for a boat trip. You can also wear them for business meetings. I think they're smart enough to be worn for these occasions as well. Color-wise, I mean, it really depends on your wardrobe. I personally would go for like a brown tan shade or maybe a nude one. Black can be very nice. But I do feel like it could be a bit harsh in summer sometimes, but that's just my personal opinion on that. But yeah, I think a pair of loafer is perfect, perfect for these warmer summer months. 
And whilst we're at the topic shoes, let's talk about my second shoe essential, which is a pair of simple sandals. Simple because very clean, simplistic sandals are really elegant. I do believe the minimalism makes them look so chic and stylish. It also makes them really easy to wear with a lot of outfits. That's an added bonus to that. You can go for flat sandals or heeled sandals. That really depends on how you want to use them, how long you want to walk in them and what you prefer for yourself. I would probably start with a flat pair of sandals and then the second pair would maybe be with a little heel because I do like a little heel to give me a bit more height. Color wise you're pretty much free but I have to say if you want to elongate your legs maybe go for a nude pair of sandals because that way your legs are just going to look that tiny little bit more longer. So just a quick little tip. So I totally forgot what essential we are on right now. I'm probably going to blend it in somewhere. But the next essential I want to talk about is powder. I know it's not a clothing item or an accessory, but I do think powder is absolutely essential in summer just because we are all sweating a lot. And I do believe that just taking a little bit of shine away from your skin is going to make you look a lot more put together. Of course, I love a healthy glow, but I just don't want to be glowing everywhere in my face. I would advise to always have like a small powder compact with you at all times just to touch up your makeup very quickly and you're good to go. All right, so we're on to our second to last essential and that is a pair of sunglasses. Of course, you can wear sunglasses all year round, but summertime just screams sunglasses. I personally prefer brown or tortoiseshell sunglasses for my wardrobe, just because I feel like they look a bit more softer on my face, but you can also go for a black pair of sunglasses. It's just gonna look a bit more harsh and a bit more statement. And sizing wise or shape wise, I do believe in summer you can be a Bit more bold about that. Summer just has that over the top feeling for me. You see a lot of skin, you see a lot of light colours, everything is bright and I do believe that you can you can just be a bit more bold. So yeah going for a bigger pair of sunglasses, why not? Why not just try it? Of course it does have to suit your face, that's something you have to try for yourself but I, I do encourage you to be a bit more bold with your accessory choice here. Last but not least, let's talk about the last essential of this video, which is good quality swimwear. During summer, naturally, a lot of skin is on show because a lot of people like to lay in the sun, for example, or go for a swim, me included. And having good quality swimwear is really important, in my opinion. I never felt very good in my swimwear when I was younger. I was very self-conscious because of my body and my swimwear really didn't help. I'm not trying to say that swimwear is going to fix your confidence, but it can help you feel a bit more pretty. The key here is that you pick swimwear that is right for your body. So you have to look at your body, see what are your strong points, what are your weak points. For me, I personally like to wear high-waisted bikini bottoms just because I don't like my stomach that much. So I prefer it to just cinch it in a bit with my swimwear and accentuate my waist. And I really don't like bandeau tops for me because they just don't flatter my breast shapes basically. So these are things you have to figure out for yourself. Every body is different, but something that everyone can do is get good quality swimwear because that is something I have noticed in the past. Cheap swimwear just didn't make me feel secure when I wore it. I didn't feel comfortable. It was too stretchy. I kind of felt like it widened when I wore it and it would just fall off. It never happened, but it just was not the feeling I had with it. And as soon as I got swimwear, which is a bit more pricey and a bit better quality, I felt a huge difference. I felt so much more secure, so much more cinched in, and I really, really enjoyed that about it. Less but better, really is the motto that I try to follow when it comes to buying clothes and buying accessories. And of course, 
swimwear is no exception to that rule so i would highly advise you get yourself a nice bikini or swimsuit whatever you prefer but just get good quality all right guys so this was my video i really do hope that you enjoyed it if you did please do leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel i would be incredibly grateful have a lovely week thank you again for watching and i'll see you for next week's video goodbye